Hey guys, hope you're having a great week so far. Back with another video. Um, this one is going to be about the Muscle Day show that happened last weekend. The uh, pictures just got put up on NPC News Online, so uh, I'm able to make the video now. Um, I want to cover two topics first, um, but before that, I want to mention that all of my pictures that I'm using for these videos are from NPC News Online. Um, and yeah, that's what I want to mention first. So. Before we get into the Moscato show, I wanted to address two things, <clears throat> two topics that um, uh, that I wanted to speak about. So the first one is, um, you know, it's a little controversial topic because, you know, it's kind of like people are talking about it, blah, blah, blah. And last year, there was kind of like a big controversy as well. So the thing is, like with um, Ashley Kaltwazer being three times Olympia and doing so many of these shows and taking away, you know, taking away in, uh, in quotes, Olympia, Olympia qualifications from other athletes. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I just you know that's that's, that's the way I run. Um, last year when the controversy happened, I was in the middle. I wasn't like, well, I don't think you should be doing that. But I wasn't like, you know, yeah, go ahead and do all the shows. Like I wasn't obviously it's not my choice. But I was like, uh, being you know a top Olympia coach, I I, I was in the middle because I kind of felt for the athletes that were like, you know, kind of missing out on being an Olympian. Um, but also, you know, I understood her point where you can do as many shows as you want, and it kind of makes the um, the Olympia higher quality. So <clears throat> this year, I'm all on the side of her doing as many shows as she wants, and I'm for it. And I'll explain to you why. So um, first of all, I understand that uh, you know the coronavirus is kind of like limiting the amount of shows per se, but to be honest, it's really not. Like I, I thought that it would. But it's not like there was literally three bikini pro shows last weekend on the same day. Like it's there's a lot of opportunity, and this year there's a lot less girls competing in the division um, because most of the pro shows are in the states because that's like you know one of the only places in the world that are open. And there's like ten to twelve girls per show, so like this is the easiest year ever to qualify for the Olympia, regardless of actually does every single show. Okay. Um, second thing, second point is. Um, Guys, there's too many girls with Olympia now, like, to be honest, like, and, and like, I've, I've had Olympia athletes now in the Olympia for the last three years, um, and especially for bikini, like, every girl has to go up there and do the routine, and then the other girls that need to, like, wait and stand for, like, an hour. Like, this, having, like, 45 girls on the Olympia stage doing their routine for a minute and then being compared, this can change the entire result of, like, the top five Olympia based on, like, the peaking, because, like, if these girls need to stand, like, I remember, like, uh, Jen was, like, she's, like, I'm so tired, like, just standing on stage for an hour, like, waiting for these other girls, like, it kind of, like, ruins your, your vibe, you know, you want to get up there, you want to present, you want to do your thing, but if you're just, like, waiting up there, and you're, like, getting tired, and you're getting, like, your calves are cramping from having to pose for an hour straight, it's not normal, like, so, I mean, you know, the most important thing at the Olympia, the people that care about the most is like the top five or top six call out any bracket you know that's what people they look for they're like oh who's going to compete between 22nd and 23rd place like no one cares that much about that it's more like the top five but you know um yeah so i mean having so many girls on stage like it's not it's not fun for the audience to be honest it's not fun for the athletes competing for the top spot because i mean once again they're having to wait so long for all the other girls to do it and it's like what's the point so it's like I would prefer to be honest with just when he goes on Olympia stage and bikini and cap like that. They, they, I don't think they're going to do that, but it's just like it would be a lot more amusing and be a lot more fun for the bikini pros to um, that are on that stage, and it would like really like increase like the, the quality of athletes. Because like to be honest, there's like some girls that like they get lucky at a show. It's like a, a one hit wonder situation where they like, get lucky at a show, not many girls show up, and then they qualify for Olympia, and then next year they're like. For callouts every show, you know, I think so. It's like, should that athlete be an Olympian? I mean, I guess so if they want to show, but I mean, that goes back to the Ashley thing where if she's in that show, then they wouldn't have been qualified, you know, and it's like better for, you know, because you want the Olympia to be prestigious. And if Ashley is like a quality control, you know, for lack of better words, and she's like not, I mean, she's kind of like blocking the people that shouldn't be at the Olympia, you know, by her being at the show, then, you know, go for it. I, I, I prefer that because. I don't know, I prefer, like, I had three girls last year in the top 12. Um, one was second, one was fifth, one was 12th. And, like, I, like, it's important for me, like, how they peak and stuff, too. And it's impossible to, like, peak them flawlessly when you're, like, kind of, you know, well, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's harder when you're 
you have to anticipate, well, are they going to be on stage for an hour and 20 minutes standing up? You know, are they going to be nervous? Are they going to be this? They're just like, they're peak, they go on, they do their shit, they come off, and that's the end of the game. And it's just like, you know, it, it sucks. So I, I, I like this thing that Ashley's doing right here. I hope she does every freaking show there is. Um, you know, even if it reduces the amount of Olympians at the, you know, at the Olympia in bikini, I mean, I, I prefer it to be honest. And let me be honest, you guys, like, Ashley is beatable. Like, she, she's she's beatable. And I, I, I made a list of all the athletes that, that beat her that are not top, top five Olympians. So, you know, she's been beaten, obviously, by the top five Olympians before and stuff, too, like, often. But, like, so she's done 16 uh, pro shows that are not the Arnold or the Olympia since 2018, okay? And these are top, um, these are athletes that are not in the top of the Olympia that have beaten her. So out of 16 shows, okay, seven athletes, so out of 16 shows that are not the Olympia or the Arnold, seven key athletes that are not, like, top Olympians yet have beaten her. Out of 16 shows, seven athletes. Like, that's is like, she's not, like, 16 for 16, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a, like, I, I don't know, like a, like a bodybuilding term. It's not like a 20, you know, 2012 through every single show. Like, it's not, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, so, Brianna Martinez beat her in 2018, okay? Alex Ross and Jessica Palmer beat her in 2019. Casey and Duraja beat her in 2020. And Ashlyn Lord beat her this year. So, she's, like, she's losing to girls that are not, top Olympians yet, you know, and still coming up. So she's not, she's not unbeatable and she's quality control. And I, I honestly like it. Like, so I hope she does every freaking show there is. <laughs> so it's better for the top Olympians. And honestly, I mean, you, I mean, obviously everyone wants to be an Olympian, but also you want to be like a prestigious thing. If there's 45 girls up there, it's not as prestigious as if there's, you know, 15 to 20. That's my opinion to be honest. So, I mean, like, like for the open bodybuilder, right? I think there's like, there's like 15 guys this year, 16, 16. Imagine there was like 45 bodybuilders. Like, first of all, the audience would lose interest fast. And it's not nearly as prestigious because it's just like there's no quality control. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of bikini shows going on. Um, if you're if you're an Olympian and you deserve to be up there, you're gonna be you're gonna be up there. So, I if you're blaming Ashley for you not succeeding in this division, I mean, you should probably look at yourself. It's not it's not her fault. So, that is that. Um, the second thing I want to mention. Um, so, there's this athlete that's been competing um, in these. I don't know, she's like three or four shows now. She hasn't been placing, but like, uh, I'm sure she's got the eye of a few, a few people, but she can be the next Janet, like hundred percent. Like her structure is ridiculous. Um, you know, she's, let me show you. It's this girl named Teresa Miller, I believe. Um, I, I didn't really know about her before this year. Um, I just saw her on the stage and like, I saw, I saw a couple live streams of her. I haven't, I have not seen her in person or I've been at any of her shows. But like I noticed, like her structure, obviously her beauty, we can see that too. Um, you know, like the fullness of her muscles up too. Like this girl, I, I don't know who coaches her. I think it's like her friend or her. I, I, some it's not it's not one of the top bikini coaches that that coaches this girl. But I mean, if this girl was in the the right hands, this is like a top six Olympia like next year, like top ten this year. Like Garrett, like this girl's not placing at shows. She should be like winning shows like back to back to back to back like like without question like with these this is like perfect bikini genetics and look like the proportion of like her like long limbs who are flat like if you don't if you see this girl and you don't automatically think of like a janet land you're blind like to be honest so like let me just show you um like a janet versus her like same structure this girl actually has fuller muscle than janet to be honest like look at this like flat, flat waist, perfect like lengths of the limbs. Like torso is perfectly proportioned to the legs. Like this is a flawed structure. The only problem is like she needs more muscle density, and like there's like little areas like you know like her hair is covering a lot of like the hair is covering her glutes and her thing. Um, she does have like some pretty a few technical errors in her posing. I've seen like and she like drops her glutes so she walks. Her stage presence is like a Janet quality stage presence. Like that's not the problem at all. Like she, she goes up there and she looks like she wants to win and she's like confident. And that's like one of the main parts of bikini, but um, she needs to work on like obviously like the posing and the muscle density in her glutes and you know, being leader. Like this is, this girl is a natural athlete, 150% natural athlete here. And you know, she has such crazy potential that it's like, it's not a shame that she's not placing. It's just like, I hope that she, um, you know, lives it through and she reaches, you know, where she should be. And she should be top 10 Olympian this year, not, you know, fourth call outs at these easy shows. So yeah, I hope this girl, um, you know, 
excels in the sport and this is someone definitely that we should be watching out for because this is some you know this is some serious damage waiting to happen if this girl uh, you know figures out the formula and figures out what she needs to do so yeah i want i never i never done one of these shots before because it's like very rare that this happens but like yeah this uh very very impressed by this just the structure and like genetics like you know when you just see like you're like in bodybuilding where you're just like a freak and you're just like wow if this person like knew what they were doing like 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 um a Ronnie Coleman, for example, right? Like before, like he was all like, you know, like he, the potential was there. And the second he, uh, he was coached by, uh, you know, uh, Chad Nichols, he blew up and like won the Olympia. Like that was, that was literally like, he wasn't placing, he got the Olympia, like last place, last place, last place. And then someone like took him under his wing and he's Mr. Olympia. Like that is what could easily happen to this girl is what I'm trying to say. So, all right, let's, so let's get into the show. Um, so the show is very small. So it's, Pretty easy. To, it was very easy to judge, in my opinion. It was like ten or twelve girls or something, um, and there was a very minimal amount of pictures, so I can't really, you know, look at every athlete individually too much. Like for example, like this girl in third, there was like one picture. Like there's not even a back picture of her. So, um, yeah. Give me a second here. Yeah. So okay. So first place, Ashley. Oh yeah. Another thing I wanted to mention about Ashley too. So. Last year when I was kind of like in between, when I wasn't, um, you know, to, you know, I wasn't on the other side of like, she shouldn't be doing this, but she should. Um, the reason also I was in between is because she wasn't really improving show to show. She was kind of like, like, I remember like a Japan show or something. She came in like really soft and she was like, she, like she wasn't consistent at all. And she was like losing to girls that she shouldn't be losing to like often. So it's just like, like I, I, I don't see the point of doing so many shows when you're, you're not improving show to show. So, and you're like, kind of like, I don't want to say tarnishing your, your legacy, but I mean, like, you're not like, like if you're doing a million shows, you should be winning all these shows. You know what I'm saying? And she wasn't consistent. She was like, I don't know. She was like coming in very, like every look, I was like, I don't know how she's going to look. Cause she's just like too full, small, this, 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 this year is completely changed. The last like three shows she's done, she's been exactly the same. Like they her and her coach really hit the formula to be honest. I'm really impressed. Like just posing like identical show to show. The last three shows she posed identical almost, I'm going to show you, um, and her conditioning is almost identical. So it's like they finally found what to do and they're capitalizing on it. And that's fine. Like you shouldn't bash her for that because that's fine. But like if, if she, like last year, like I was kind of like, uh, I don't know, because it's like she wasn't, as like I said before, she wasn't improving show to show. She wasn't getting better. Like she'd win one and like come third. Like I like, what's the point, right? So, but how, if she's here, she's actually improving and this way she knows what to do for the Olympia, then I mean, if she wants to obviously please hire the Olympia, that's her goal. So. If she's able to do these shows as practice runs, I mean, she can't go compete at in the you know in the NPC at a regional show where she lives, or she can't go you know in the backyard. She needs to step on stage in front of judges. She doesn't really have a choice, you know, if she wants to get better. But yeah, if she's actually able to be consistent, uh, which she has been this year, which I'm actually very impressed about. Then I mean, go ahead, do do all the shows there is to go. So like, um, I'm going to show you something. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit retarded with them. <laughs> so this is like Pittsburgh versus here. Um, this was so she's posing almost exactly the same here. It's kind of hard to tell, but like she is. Um, and a little bit different camera angle. This guy's like taking a picture. I think he's like standing versus this guy's like sitting. So a little bit different angle. But like this is identical pose here. Um, here I feel like the camera angle was maybe like I think she's facing the judges here. The camera angle was a little bit like um, on the left side, so she's not angling properly. Like the hips are a little bit too turned in front versus here, just sideways. But like the conditioning is like it's different lighting, but it's like identical, identical conditioning. Like they really like they they nailed this. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, that was so Ashley was the obvious winner there. Sorry, I'm all over the place. So yeah, so this girl's second. I mean, this is this was again her like this girl's crazy. Like she's like she nails her shape every single time. And even though she needs more glute muscle, she like comes in so perfect every time that she's like a high end competitor. Like if Ashley comes off, this girl can take her out. So like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if this girl's in Olympian yet, but she definitely will be in Sierra. Like if Ashley comes off, this girl would beat her. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, um, yeah, I mean, this girl is an incredible shape. I actually like the suit to be honest on her. Super flat stomach, you know, perfect. This is a perfect front pose. I said the same thing last time, just needs more boots. I mean, that's going to be her feedback though she gets more than to be honest. Like, I mean, this is perfect bikini condition. You can't get better than that. Perfect fullness, perfect everything. So, 
is that's just a little bit of a grind just to build up recruits here. Third place girl, there wasn't any picture besides this. Um, but once a comparison, I'm going to show you there's a few errors here. Um, the way she's po I'm just kind of getting a transition here to be honest, but it looks similar to her actual pose. Um, she shouldn't be pumping up her upper body, I don't think. Like it's almost like a figure, figure delts to bicep to back ratio here, and like her shoulders are very, very wide, so she's like toned down, and her feet are really too close, so she's not exaggerating her next frame here. Um, a fourth place girl. Um, this girl has such a, such crazy glutes. Like these glutes are comparable to Ashley, but the problem is like she's like she's pushing so hard, and she's almost like flexing. I'm gonna show you in the comparison here. Like her upper glutes, like you can see like these like divots here. You see like these divots here. That means like she's pushing so hard and she's like, oh, there's so much tension in the glutes. That it's actually, it's not helping her to be honest. Like the, the, she doesn't need to over exaggerate because her glutes are already her strength. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, front pose is pretty good. I wouldn't change too much here to be honest. Maybe relax this arm a little bit. It's a little bit too sticky now, but yeah, this is, this is a, this is a beautiful shape here. This girl has a lot of potential. Fifth place hope. Um, I have another picture of her. I'm not going to go into my email right now, but this girl has great potential. She just has baby muscle. That's all That's all it is. I mean, the condition is okay here. She's, she's a little bit flat from the front too. She's a little bit flat also. I don't know if I have a picture of her on stage here. No, I don't. But uh, yeah, like she's just, she just has baby muscle. I think she's like younger, this girl. Um, but yeah, she, she'll she be an Olympian one day for sure. Um, the posing was pretty good if I remember. She was making a few mistakes here. Here, let me see if I can actually. Sorry, this is embarrassing. I don't want to edit, okay? No, that's a nightmare. Okay, forget that part. I'm not editing this, so yeah, this is a live, it's a live feed, guys. And now I picture one away, so okay. Anyways, so <clears throat> yeah, so this girl has baby muscle. She just needs more more uh, time under tension in the gym and more uh, density here. Um, she definitely, she definitely has the genetics in the shape from pro. So let's go here with the um, the lineup here. This is a bit of a better one here. So Jessica needs some nutrition on hiding her glutes here. There's a little bit of a shadow, but she needs to like she's on the side here. And if she's in the middle, this would have been a perfect pose, and the head judge could have seen her perfectly. But like she's hiding her glutes here. She can't hide the glutes when she's on the left side because all these judges here, like except for the judges right in front of her, all the judges on the right side of the you know the panel are not gonna see her glutes. Um this front pose is not that bad. Uh she needs to sit a bit more in her glutes though, because she's and she needs to relax her arm. Like, look at all their arms. Relax, relax, relax. And she's kind of just, like, sticking out. So, I mean, if there's, like, a big lineup of, like, eight girls, she's going to be on top of the girl next to her. So, um, yeah, I would – she needs to sit a little bit more in her glutes here and relax this arm. This girl, great shape, but, I mean, the, she's – I think her quads are – like, she just has so much muscle. It's, like – she the way she's posing – so, look, she looks, like, very top heavy here because her legs are so close together that, like, her – her upper body looks two times as big as her legs because her legs are super close together. And she's kind of leaning on this leg. You can see like how Ashley is like up high here. All her weight is on this leg. This girl is leaning a little bit. So her, she needs to work on her balance. That's basically what I'm trying to you know get to. She needs to work on her balance because she she, doesn't have, she should be able to sit on this leg alone and have this leg extended. And that's going to, you know, uh, exaggerate her extra in here and not make her upper body look too big. Plus, I think she knows that like her shoulders are too big. So she's putting her hair in front, but you can still see the shoulders popping on the side. So. Yeah, I, I would actually downsize this girl, to be honest. Um, I, I don't know who she is, but uh, she just looks very dense. It looks like she can almost like do figure, to be honest, though. But really, really nice shape, really nice potential, but definitely a lot of posing technicalities that I would change. And definitely, like, like, like let's look here. Look at Ashley's shoulders. Look at Jessica's shoulders. This is for a second versus hers. This girl's upper body is two times as big as both these girls, so she needs to tone that down and, and work on the... The balance here so that she can balance on this leg and she should be upright here she's leaning like her body is like a string like pulling forward and she should be upright like actually upright like this girl upright like this girl back pose here so this girl uh the girl that let's just continue here the girl we were just speaking about um i think she's like her the glute structure is like really nice super super high super round uh but she's kind of like I don't know, this is not an aesthetic pose what she's doing. Her arms are like a little bit too close. Um, this is not a great quality picture, so I can't really see that much. But she just needs to work on her pose. Her triceps are way too, way too jacked too. Uh, too much muscle, I think. 
Um, I think she's just worked on fine tuning her physique and she has really, really good potential and shouldn't be really work, working on, you know, packing on the muscle. Um, this girl here, Ashley, um, it's going to be like in a transition. This is not, she's like flexing her glute here. I mean, I have never seen Ashley do that before, so this could not be a great picture um, for that. But yeah, she's flexing her glute here. I, I doubt she did that the entire time on the stage. This girl here is like full flexing her, her butt here. So like, you can see her, like, like, look at the difference, girl. This girl, Jessica here, her, her this is a perfect back for her. She's a relaxed, which are popping. This girl, her glutes look like a pancake because she's trying to like flex to make them bigger, almost like, kind of like a wellness type of style. You cheat. She does not need to make her glutes look bigger. Her glutes are literally the same size as Ashley's, if not bigger. She needs to just relax her back pose, relax her legs, relax everything, and just sit there. And just like, don't move. She's flexing her glutes, and it's really not, it's really not ideal for, for her at all. Let me show you, like, look at the difference here. See, look, it's kind of like this is round and bubbly because it's just like relaxed. These glutes are not tense at all. These glutes are super flexed, super tight. You need to just relax your glutes and the shape of them is going to be a lot better. There's no one in the top 10, no one here that flexes their glutes uh, for bikini. You shouldn't do that. So, um, yeah, there's not much else to talk about with this show. Um, yeah, same thing here. It goes into transition, but still the same thing too. She needs to work on the balance and the legs up too. Um, it looks like just like Ashley here looks very presentable, like very good. It looks like just getting a little bit tired here. And she's kind of like dropping up her body a little bit. Her leg is not extended as before. Her arm is still covering her glutes. So you need to, I think she needs to work a little bit on the stamina on the stage. And she's going to be able to be a really dominant competitor, Jessica, to be honest. But yeah. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. There wasn't, it wasn't a very hard show to judge because there wasn't many athletes. But um, yeah, I want to cover a couple topics too on top of it because. Um, you know, I thought it was a little bit interesting to give my feedback on it since people are, you know, people like message me like, what do you think about Ashley? Like, I'm doing all these shows. Like, as if I'm going to like tell them like, oh, this is a horrible, like, all right, it's like, I'm messaging you stupid things with this. I, I don't care. So I decided to just address it in this video and it's just easier that way. So um, I will come back with another video uh, as soon as the pictures up are from, New York, uh, as soon as the pictures from New York Pro are up on Saturday. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and have a great weekend. Thank you, guys.